What made Evaldi so dominant? The cutter. Um, you know, obviously really good uh, velocity on his fastball, but but the cut fastball, it seemed like he was throwing a ton of those pitches, and it looked like it was moving quite a bit. You know, tough to really gauge from the side, but just seeing some of the replays and seeing some of the swings on some of his cut fastballs, um, it gave us some problems today. Just two runs from this offense the last two days. Does all the credit go to the Red Sox pitching, or do you guys need to, to find a way to figure things out? Well, we absolutely got to find a way. You know, we're we're an elite group and even right now running out a little you know obviously having a couple of key pieces out we've got to you know we got to do a better job I mean you definitely tip your cap to you know Porcello and Avaldi able to shut us down but we got to find a way too and um, you know especially right now when it's tough what did you think of Chance Adams overall I thought he did well you know and and he didn't he seemed like in a really good frame of mind all day. And again, I think he came in here having thrown the ball well. I think he had some confidence coming in. And, you know, even after giving the home run up there in the first, um, you know, he didn't flinch. And I thought he did a good job attacking the strike zone, mixing his pitches. You know, Rowe came in a couple times and said his stuff's really good. You know, his fastball's moving all over the place, cutting, sinking a little bit. And, uh, you know, I, I, he gave us, you know, if you would have told me, you know, three runs through five innings for him his first time out against that lineup, you know, uh, he would have taken that and you just, you know, we needed to obviously support him with more offense. Aaron, you said we need to do a better job at the plate. Is there something specific or did you like to see you guys do? You know, we, we always do a good job, I feel like, of, of controlling the zone. But especially, you know, when you when you have a couple big boys out of the lineup, so guys are in some different spots, it's just continuing to, to focus, to grind. Um, you know, they've done a really good job the last two days, both of Aldi and Porcello, of attacking the strike zone early. So getting ahead in the count a lot. So that makes it difficult when they're dictating counts to really run deep counts. So, you know, you got to be able to strike that balance between going up there on the hunt, being aggressive early in the count, looking to do damage, but being able to shut down on balls. And that's that's ultimately one of the biggest challenges you have as a hitter. Leading up to the deadline, how much interest did you guys have in the ball? Well, I, that's, I don't know. That's, that's that'd be a question for cash and, um, you know, I'm sure they talk about thousands of names over different times. I don't think it ever anything ever got too heated, but that's that wouldn't be a question for me. Aaron, what do you think of that last inning there, watching from the dugout, and you know the guys are trying to mount something? Say it again. Last inning, what are you yeah. thinking? The guys are trying to kind of mount something. Just well? um, love to see. You know, you, you got their closer in. You know, the first and foremost, you want to make it difficult on him. And, you know, to get his pitch count up to 30, you know, maybe that impacts tomorrow. But to give ourselves a chance there, you know, to bring the go-ahead run to the plate, um, you know, it looked like some questionable calls to start off the inning on strikeouts. And and I just thought our guys continued to battle and I thought had really good at-bats against an elite closer there. Um, so to give us a chance. So. It's one of the things I love about our guys in this group is is the way they do always compete, and I thought we had some really good at-bats there to give us a chance in the end. Aaron, if uh, you had taken a lead, was Batances going to close? He wasn't up. No, it, it would have been Chappie. Yeah. Batances would have if we tied right. it. Yeah. Aaron, considering how many things gone, how important does it tomorrow become now? Really, really important. <laughs> Super important. I mean, but I mean, I'm a broken record. Tomorrow is always really important. I don't care if we just we're getting wearing it right now from the Red Sox. We're in a tough spot. Tomorrow is really important. This is this is the big leagues. We're a really good team. We got to right the ship. Tomorrow's important. But if we had run five in a row, tomorrow is really important. Are you going to change your approach at all, kind of going into tomorrow with the losing streak? And all? What do you mean, approach? Um, like your preparation, what you say to the guys, stuff like that. Uh, you know, we, we got David Price, and no, I mean, every day is a little bit different in how we go in and prepare for, you know, for tomorrow, it's it's David Price. You know, for us, it's, it's Tanaka, so how are we going to pitch them? How are we, what are we looking to do against David Price? Um, you know, that's that's the focus. But as far as the message or the conversations, 
no, because I have no issue with what's going on in there. We're, we're ready to go. We're prepared. And uh, we're just running through a little bit of a tough stretch that we got to fight our way out of. Obviously, we keep asking about your play. Uh -huh. the, their record said they were really good. But yeah. seeing them now firsthand these last three days, are they, is there a level they've even reached that you didn't expect from them? Look, there's, there's no question. They've established themselves right now as, as the best team in this league. And that's indicative of their rest record and how consistent they've been. Um, you know, obviously they do a lot of things really well. That said, I think if you walk through our room out there to a man, I, we know we can absolutely play with them. We know when we're at our best, we can we can beat them. So um, I think we acknowledge who they are right now, and that's there's no denying the season they're having. But um, we have a lot of confidence in our group and a, and, and a lot of fight and. Um, Hopefully tomorrow starts the digging out. You guys have had some struggles against right-handed pitching since the All-Star break. Is that mostly just, you know, is that mostly health, or are you seeing something in terms of approach uh, to been challenging? Um, you know, I, I think, you know, we probably expanded the strike zone a little bit yesterday in, in some counts against Porcello, but again, that's partly in, in because of him dictating counts and getting ahead. And, and I thought he did a good job of expanding in different times. Um, but no, I no, I think we are going to go through little stretches here and there. But I, I know when we line up all our guys, um, I think over time our approach will, will pan out and, and we'll right that ship.